Hey y'all, I think it's over for Florida. I wouldn't invest in a very expensive house because now we're looking at one to two major hurricanes. Even if you was to rebuild, let's talk about all the factors. The water temperature is anywhere from 90 to 100 degrees. That's one huge factor. With that being said, you're looking at one to two major hurricanes a year. Insurance companies are like, whoa, hold on. A lot of them are pulling out. So on top of having major hurricanes blow down your house every one, two years, even if they come once every 10 years, who wants their house to be blown away once every 10 years? Major insurance companies are like, oh, hold on, I'm pulling out. Then for insurance in Florida, they're talking double or uh, whatever, triple digits, 10,000. And that's just flood insurance. They're talking about hurricane, wind, all types of different factors. That's in and of itself crazy to invest in a house just to have it blown away, to pay all that money. An insurance company, some people ain't getting but 20% of what their home is worth. Some people ain't getting nothing. Um, I was watching the news on a couple and everything. And they're like, yo, we can't even afford to reinvest. They gone. So most people are about to be gone. Because who got time to be moving out, moving back in, rebuilding, and to do that every year? Also, I pay attention to the scientists, not the politicians. The TV is not going to tell you what's what. Scientists are predicting not just the doomsday glacier, but other glaciers that are breaking off in the Antarctic because of the warm climate change in the warm waters so they're already predicting in the next year or two that the sea level is going to be risen three to five feet within the next three years so that alone miami all the coastal cities are going to be underground anyway and that can change because the climate change is changing it could be a lot worse some scientists predicting it to be a lot worse but on the moderate side at least three to five feet within the next three years. So even in that aspect, I wouldn't invest in Florida. Um, and the fact that it's just going to be so expensive to live. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you follow real estate, I follow a real estate channel where he's saying a lot of companies, what companies are going to be willing to uh, rebuild in Florida? Not knowing this could be blown away any day. So maybe inland is better, but still, even in inland, you can't take that risk. You're still going to be paying goo gobs of money to invest inland. So I would say uh, real estate-wise, supply, demand, and even um, most of Florida is due to um, it's, it's the uh, people coming to visit, tourism. So, but what if these major parks get hit with major hurricanes like Orlando just did? They got hit, flooded. A lot of these major uh, places are getting flooded. So what if that takes a hit? That means the economy, the uh, tourism takes a huge hit. And, we're at, and one, one guy was a fisherman. And so with the hurricanes coming in, that was taken away for some time because all the stuff that he was, crabs or whatever, been washed away and this and that so that's gone for him people who work in the tourism industry take huge hits every year may take more so if y'all looking to invest and live in florida i would tell y'all hey, just follow science follow your own intuition don't follow the politicians